How has the home life and quarantine life been treating you? How have you been doing? You know, just, of course, I'm sick of it like everybody else, but mm -hmm. um, but I also I mostly just feel grateful. I feel grateful that I, I have a place that I can be safe and I'm able to, you know, work from home and everyone's healthy and just trying to keep, keep thanks. Not to give too much of a spoiler, um, but you know, there is a very graphic scene in the movie where we see you get shot. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering, you know, as far as preparation for shooting that scene, was there, was it a lot of heavy prosthetics and makeup when you were doing that or, or was it special effects or, or movie magic afterwards? Or what did that entail on your part as far as shooting that? Yeah, that the crazy thing about that shot is there's no, there's no makeup, there's no prosthetics, and there's hardly any visual effects on it, actually. It's just a slow motion shot. They just had the really crazy idea to take this really powerful air gun and shoot a strong blast of air at my face and shoot it in slow motion and then, you know, add a, a gun and a bullet. <laughs> but, um, but really, my face was moving like that. That's really my face. Oh, wow. So yeah. what, is, what is that like shooting a, a movie and, and maintaining your character and getting shot yeah. in the face with an air gun? Yeah, I mean, it actually made it pretty easy to, to act scared. I was, it was, I was trying my best not to flinch, but uh, it was hard. They were pointing a powerful thing at my face and, and it went off, you know? If you could have one superpower at all, um, what would your dream superpower be? My superpower, yeah, I've been thinking about this one. I would choose the power of empathy. And what I mean by that is um, being able to actually see through somebody else's eyes and hear through someone else's ears and, and see and uh, touch, taste, smell someone else's senses. You know, I, this is kind of what I'm always trying to do as an actor, is, you know, put yourself in someone else's shoes and understand what it's like to be them. But I feel like if I could take it to the extreme as a superpower and really, really experience somebody else's life, that would just be so illuminating. That'd be the most fascinating thing for me. What was your favorite superhero growing up? Like, did you have a favorite when you were? Let's see. Um, it, it, I, I had a Batman costume that my mom sewed for me. So I definitely liked Batman. Um, Where did you Mighty Mouse. I really oh. like Mighty Mouse, I remember. 